Meets up with Pavati after fucking all these holes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Pavati is the mountaintop, <laughs> and they both merge together and call Shiva Hamafadati. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Lakshmi meets up, no, no, uh, Vishnu meets up with Lakshmi, and they become one. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're they, they inseparable. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. So the multiple wives, many wives, many loves of Shiva, many loves of Krishna. Krishna has many gopi girls, but he has the one, one, the one, the one he finds is called Radha. But Radha existed with him in the beginning of creation as two polarity parts of the universe. Mm -hmm. And so he has to go into the various women till he get to the final stage, which was that one that used to be with him in the primordial world. And mm -hmm. then the energy comes together. And right. Yeah, androgyny. Mm -hmm. So we are one. Mm. That was the same thing you were talking about yesterday with yeah. the zodiac. With the zodiac. With, the point. Yeah. with the zodiac. And when it comes to tag, right. when when you start yeah. having the attributes of different right. of the zodiacal um, signs, yeah. where you come to the center, you become an attribute of exactly. all. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We like the same foods. Mm -hmm. We got the same mannerisms. I shake my leg. You see me on the on the, on some of the things. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm shaking my leg like this. On, on some of the tapes, she shakes her legs right. the same damn way. Right, right. Finishing each other. So that's so that, 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 that so, but it's also talking about the alchemical components of the collars, the many wives of Solomon, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's metaphysical. Very good, very good. All right, so let's you touched on it, but let's get to Jezebel. For whatever Jezebel. Got her story. Jezebel. Okay, Jezebel. Mm -hmm. Jezebel. If you take it from the, the story. Okay, okay, there's a moralistic story. Jezebel just represents society. Mm -hmm. And Elijah and Jezebel, and he um, fight goes and fights with Jezebel. Jezebel represents society mm -hmm. and the, the, the bitch of a society. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So there's a moral thing and there's a metaphysical thing. Jezebel, that he goes in contact with, Shiva wrestles Kali. He beats Kali in this dance contest. He's the only one who can beat Kali in a dance contest. Kali represents the primal forces. Mm -hmm. It's in a book called The Sword and the Flute. <coughs> Shiva goes and has this dance contest with her, and he beats her in the dance contest. The dance contest is they dancing in that pussy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? He yoking a motherfucker. So, so, so he beat it up. Correctly. Right. Yeah, right. Beat it up. <laughs> right. Beat up in yeah. some guts. Yeah, right, right, right. Smash that. You rush them guts. <laughs> it's not yeah. bad. It's not just the yeah. guts is the monster. Can you woo woo? That is the damn that is the guts is the damn monster, the primordial great mother. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And she is there to chop, chew your dick off. Mm -hmm. And chewing up the dick and swiping up the dick is nothing but when you bust a damn nut, you done lost the goddamn war. war. Over and over and over and over again. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he can never win this war, not unless he becomes one with her and becomes woman. So what happens is, mm -hmm. until he learns how to not ejaculate, when he learns how to not ejaculate, his penis becomes a vagina and it does the same. The vagina is succubus, it sucks in. Well, his, his penis, when he don't ejaculate, it sucks in her energy. So Shiva gets into a dance contest with Kali, and he wins the dance contest for a minute. But he wins the dance, and it also represents, he's synthesizing the primal forces. Mm -hmm. The woman represents negative, not in the evil aspect, but negative as is the ACDC. And he has to get to a level to synthesize the dark forces into light. But he does it through the sexual aspect. So Jezebel represents the Kali. Jezebel represents the sacred whore, the prostitute, mm -hmm. where all power is given. The scarlet woman, the harlot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To the scarlet woman, all power is given. It is up to you that you got to go get it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you get it through mastering the sexual aspect to synthesize the juices and the energy that she got. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So Jezebel is... Ishtar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in Babylonia, Babylon. She's Lilith in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, she's Sekhmet in, 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 in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Some Sekhmet, a uh, uh, part of half or uh, Heheru, the cow. Right. Uh, she's also, Jezebel is also, the heart it also is Apep, the great mother of Apep. You see, she's Echidna. In Greece, she's Kali 
in India, but Carly in India on the fucking side is Pravati, the wife of Sheba. Uh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. She's the black one. Mm-hmm. She's a nana in Samaria. No, no, no. In, in Samaria, she's not a nana Jezebel, but she's not a nana because of the queen of heaven. She's Jezebel because of the primal Kali force in her called Arrestagul. Mm-hmm. In India, Arrestagul is the neglected, and then the rest of school is the dormant half of the neglected half of Inanna. In Egypt, Neptunes is called the dark Isis, the dormant half of the neglected half of Isis. Mm-hmm. A rest of school in India is called A-Lakshmi. Mm-hmm. The dormant of the neglected half of Lakshmi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. The primal part. Mm-hmm. You can incur the wrath of Lakshmi, which is prosperity, or you can incur the wrath of a Lakshmi, which is Kali, a rescue ghoul, Apep, the great dragon mother that kicks a motherfucking ass. Mm-hmm. Being the cheapskate and shit like yeah. that. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So Jezebel represents the primordial force called Leviathan. Mm-hmm. The great <coughs> whale. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? The great mother mm-hmm. in her severe part, the most terrible one, mm-hmm. Lilith. That's right. Lilith is the most primordial terrible woman in when she raises up, she's called a Shekinah. Mm-hmm. Lilith, Lilith and the Shekinah is the same. Mm-hmm. But the Shekinah is also called Sheba, Sheba, Queen of Sheba, wife of Solomon. That's his shark teeth and his dragon that he got a slave. You see, mm-hmm. you see, which is not talking about controlling her. He's talking about harnessing that energy, yes. that primal force. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? That dance, the dance, mm-hmm. the fucking, the collars, mm-hmm. and the ingesting. The ultimate trail is when you ingest the, the menstrual blood. Mm-hmm. Now, let's talk because about when you ingest the menstrual blood. See, that's a sacrifice. Mm-hmm. That's a motherfucking sacrifice. Yes, yes. But when you ingest that shit, something happens. There's an entity that wakes up in you. And there's an entity that's inside of you, and the only way it can wake up from a sleep is when you get that menstrual blood, it's over. Mm-hmm. That shit wake up and it's powerful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it wakes up in you, and you start to transform. Let me ask you this then, while we did that, what about a woman ingesting sperm? The that is her nectar. The, the old That is her nectar. Mm-hmm. That right. is her milkshake and her nectar. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You see. Well, that's pretty easy. I see them drink cum all day long on them right. pornos. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And Mr. Blood shit, they do fucking. That, that ain't you don't see that yeah, shit, so y'all got it right. easy. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. That's, her, that's her nectar. Mm-hmm. And all which mm-hmm. would also heals her. As well as uh, that's her that's her fountain of youth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As well as right. her urine is our fountain, and our urine is her fountain of youth. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. So let's move to My Elijah. Um, the name Elijah comes up, but why well, I want to move to it because they they reference Elijah in the Bible with uh, Elijah Muhammad. And yeah. also as a, a, a Jesus figure. Well, I'm going to say figure. something about this. Because mm-hmm. I've had the last 15 years to study this. Mm-hmm. Now the Jews, the is it really the fake Jews. Right. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> say that they, there was no, the Messiah, and their nation, the Messiah, and the Roman nation, and the redemption of their race, cannot rise until Elijah comes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We are the only people that receive the Elijah. Right. Mm-hmm. Now whether you like it or not, that is prophecy that went down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now you might have all the mundane things where you might see Elijah Muhammad wasn't this and Elijah Muhammad that. Well anytime you get into a human body, you are subject to error. That's what the human mm-hmm. body is.